Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the next episode of Product Management Interview Experience Series. And today we have Ayush with me, who have recently joined Paytm. Welcome, Ayush. Uh, hi, so good. How are you? Hey, Ayush. Thanks. I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Yep. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Ayush, for uh, you know coming up here to share your experience of your entire interview journey. So why don't you get started and introduce yourself, Ayush? Yeah, so good. So first of all, thanks for inviting me. Uh, I'll start with my basic introduction. So I'm actually from a computer science background. I did my engineering from Ramaya in Bangalore. After that, I joined Barclays in a technology analyst role where I did multiple projects. I grew a lot. And then I had an opportunity to join SPJMR for a uh, for in information management cohort for my MBA. So it was a not a very thoughtful, a thought of decision to join MBA because it happened. I got a profile based call and I cracked the interview. Uh, so I didn't have a very good CAT score. Uh, it was just 87 percentile. So you can't even get into any college, decent college with that percentile in India, but I was able to get through it. So that's how it started. So coming to information management, it gave me new perspective from businesses and how IT can be used in different domains, not just in IT space itself, but manufacturing where you might not even have thought of people are actually using IT. IT is part of everything, may it be digital products or physical products. So yeah, I got through many things and learn many things and one of the most important thing which actually interested me was product management that's how from an engineer to a product management role it transit it was a smooth transition i would say because it was all about interest and how i worked through it so yeah that's how from an engineer to a atm product manager i right before great ayush i think very glad to know that uh, your journey how you have from an engineering background, you're coming to the product role. So let's deep dive into our next question, like your entire product management interview experience. Maybe you can share us, like, you know, how you prepared for the role, how you got shortlisted for the role, and the entire interview process at PTM. Yeah, sure. I'll start with the preparation part. So product, uh, so product management, is a very sort of sought after role these days. I have seen that like even in the inside I'm articles or anything, product management is the focus apart from the earlier focus, which was consulting. So actually they have a lot of similarities, the preparation for a consulting role, a product management role, because you still have to do cases, but the cases are around product. Then the guesstimates are same. And then there are the general interview questions which everyone prepares for the behavioral one, the PNG 64. So you can, the product cases, uh, the guest emits and the behavioral questions. These are the three main parts of the preparation. So uh, one of the most important is product case where you actually build, uh, take a product, a digital product, a physical product and break it down to understand what uh, value proposition had, it has and what customer needs it solving. So that's a basic exercise which you have to do multiple times to actually understand how a product is being built, why it's being built, and what's the value proposition and what needs it's actually solving. So that's a pretty basic exercise which you have to inculcate in your day-to-day -day life. So right now, many of us would be using Instagram or WhatsApp or any other new application which comes up daily. So you have to look at it in a, from a different angle, a day-to-day, -day, uh, for example, Instagram. So if Instagram bought in Reels or if it added new features to Reels, why it's actually happening? So when I was actually preparing for the interview, Instagram was doing a lot of A-B testing. It has five different UIs when it launched Reels and actually made 10 accounts to understand if I made 10 accounts in Instagram to see what these five different UIs are and why they are doing these A-B testings. So that's the level you have to go into to understand what it's. Once you get the hang of it, look at different products from that thought, product thought, which we talked about. But uh, so that's how the preparation went. And 
So yeah, so that's the preparation part of it. Then it comes to the creative interviews. I had two rounds. Uh, the shortlisted, uh, the shortlist was announced by the placement committee, and we had uh, basically two rounds of interview. Uh, the first round was taken by the director of product, in which uh, it started with the general tell me about yourself, and every question was picked from my uh, introduction itself. So I had one Airtel product challenge. Uh, uh, so one question was around that, and I had internship in product management role. So one question was around that. And the question focused on how I approach the problem and what product management uh, concepts I used to solve these problems. And in both the cases, uh, the interview was focused on the personas and the consumer needs, which I was solving rather than the solution. So in my thought process, what they were looking at is how I was able to interpret the problem rather than the solution itself. So that's one of the main key points I could bring out from the interview. Another, uh, like I talked about the inter preparation itself, a guesstimate is a very common question, which I was also asked about. Then there was another very interesting product case, which was how to launch cricket as a product in US market. So that was a very interesting, very, I would say very, very, very interesting uh, question, which I was not able to think about at that moment of time. With a small hint, I was able to. So don't have to get stuck in a question. There is always an interview. You're not supposed to know everything. But with the hints, if you, you can even ask for the hints. You should be able to approach it. That's the main gist of uh, a product or any interview or a product interview. Uh, another part is uh, the second round was by a growth director uh, in which it again focused on my introduction and how, what works I've already done. And then the interview went on from that. Another important point from a product interview standpoint is focus on the numbers. So if you are saying something, it shouldn't be just a thought. That thought should be uh, from certain facts you would have known about, or as if, even if you are made, uh, making some assumptions, it, it should be backed up by logic and not just an assumption which you thought might would have been. The might thing doesn't actually work there. So yeah, so in case of a product interview, you need to focus on the facts. Numbers are very important. And uh, yeah, these are the basic interview things uh, and what how my interview went about. If you want to know about more, good. Great. And then uh, in general, how, how long was this interview? Was it conducted in a single day? I think. Yeah. Uh, so after the shortlist came, shortlist just came two days before the interviews happened. And all the interviews happened in the same day. And they were uh, scheduled in morning itself. So what as you may be aware of in we school colleges, every company wants to take the best students and they come as early as possible. They can come at 3.30 a.m. in night as well. That's what many companies do, right? Uh, so yeah, it started as early as possible and they wanted to get uh, done with the interviews as soon as possible again. So once the first round was done for even few candidates, those candidates who has to the first round, they were called for the second round. So though everything happened the same day and the results came on the same day itself after an hour when everyone was done with the interviews. Great. Yeah, and the, sorry, uh, and the interviews itself were very short actually, in my opinion. They were just 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes interviews because, uh, and it, the interview, interviewer uh, said that in the beginning itself that they didn't have much time. So we are going to keep it brief. So be crisp about it. So every it, answer yeah. which they wanted was supposed to be very crisp and to the point. Perfect. Perfect. And just to summarize for our audience, uh, starting with the preparation phase, uh, as you mentioned, you know, this is not about uh, reading some books, but it's more about the mindset. We have yes. to get into the shoes of that product management and think problem solving skills to you know, analyze the things and prepare ourselves. And, and I'm uh, talking about the interview process, like since it was a campus interview, 
there were like two rounds after the shortlisting both the rounds were for 30 minutes and the questions were more or less about the guesstimate uh, guesstimate problem solving cases yeah that, that's good Perfect. summarizing of the interview moving on uh, ayush uh, in your opinion what are few do's and don'ts a product manager or a, a aspiring candidate should keep in mind when uh, sitting in front of this interview uh okay i'll go first with the do's which is how you mentioned you should focus on the numbers keep on even if you are saying something about stating an assumption or uh, at at many points you might think that okay this is obvious whatever you say yeah. just yeah. back it up with the fact it might not be obvious for the interview so make sure that's there so that's uh, do make uh, answer should be crisp you can't just talk about a solution for half an hour uh, it needs to be very precise because at the end of the day they are not just seeing you on the product skills itself it's also about how you communicate your uh, solution and your thought process so no big uh, basic two points data and how crisp your answer is uh, don't again the opposite of it don't make assumptions don't assume that uh, that the interview knows about it just state what are your assumptions are and how you're progressing if you are stuck don't just be there stuck don't stop ask for any hints ask for any questions ask questions as as many questions as you want in a product case in any case consulting or product you need to ask as many questions as you want to actually get through the solution so these are the do's and don'ts uh, apart from that don't so what happens in i'll just talk about the vspool interviews uh if you are not getting placed in the day one day two or whatever the scenario is you might get tense and because of that tension you might not be at your 100% and might be rushing in things take a minute if even if you know the answer just wait for 30 seconds to answer it because even if you know the answer and you rush through it you are going to miss some points and that's very very obvious to the interviewer that you are missing some points you are not covering all the aspects take 30 seconds dot down your points in your mind go through them as simple as that yeah that's the basic things okay quick and uh, just to give an example when ayush was mentioning that do not assume if a question is like you know design a pen for uh, old people you know that pen cannot be a pen we use for writing it can be a mobile application so it's very important that we do not assume that word pen is a literal meaning of of the object that we're using it can be anything can be anything that's a very good example it can be your stylus pen or it can be a color pencil or color Absolutely. pen or normal pen anything yeah perfect okay moving on uh you mentioned about the shortlisting process i and 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 that's the reality all the you know aspiring candidates have to go through it before even sitting for the interview and that becomes you know the resume part what yeah. should be few things uh, or how a product manager resume should be uh that's a interesting question which uh, all of us asked us uh, each other due, before the placement that what should be made what changes should be made so these are the points which we gathered from our seniors so one of the point is there should be if you have worked on certain product mentioned that that's simple as that what if you haven't that's then comes the point so i had the product manager experience so i, I was able to mention it and most probably that helped me in the short list because i had a like a long internship written there that i worked as a product manager and that was startup which actually helps in many companies uh, in a product company in a product role a startup experience actually helps uh, a startup experience might not help in a hul or a png interview because for them you didn't get into a bigger company that's why you are you are working in a startup that's the mindset there so it might backfire in those companies but in a product company it's actually helpful because you have been through the rigor of a startup 
Uh, so few points there was uh, if if you have not worked in a product role or not worked in a product itself, mention your client interactions because either you were a software engineer or you were a business analyst or something. Uh, you might be working in a backend or frontend. So backend, you were working on some product. Mention that whatever you did, if you have built something, what you have built, if you have, if you're solving a consumer need, just write it down that you solve this need. Even if you're working with a operations team, for example, and you did something for them. So at that moment of time, you understood what the needs of that uh, operations team was and was able to solve it, not through a product, but maybe through a report, maybe through anything. That's a product in your mind. That's also a product and you're solving some needs. So mention that, mention those things that you solved a need and build something. In a front-end role, you say that uh, to talk about your client interactions and how, again, you were able to solve some conflict because a product manager doesn't actually, uh, building a product is the smallest part of a product management tool maybe because most of the times you are interacting with many stakeholders. Interaction is the major part. Building a product is the role of a designer or software engineer. You might be a product manager. You might say that I'm building a product, but actual coding is done by a developer. You are actually interacting all the time. So communication is one of the most important part. Conflict solving, teamwork. These are the things which you can focus on in your resume if you have not done a product. Yeah, that's a great point, Ayush. I think I think this will help many uh, candidates. You know, they are confused sometimes. I don't have a product management role. What else you mentioned? But yeah, uh, your point summarizes like you know, even if you have not worked in product companies or product roles, try to you know highlight your attributes, which can be communication skills, stakeholder management, conflict management. So those are key attributes of product management roles, and will be very important in highlighting it. Great. And uh, moving to the last question, Ayush, uh, how, what are your advice or how a people or aspiring candidates can get into a product role at Paytm? Uh, Paytm specifically, I did talk about my interview experience, but if you're a lateral type, there are some questions which is very common for a uh, Paytm product interview. I wanted to highlight that, that they focus on the Paytm app a lot. So you need to know in and out of Paytm app and the competitors, if possible. Uh, what are the things you like about Paytm? And one of the most important question is what are the things you don't like about Paytm? Because they don't, they, they won't want a product manager who already like, loves the application. There's nothing to add to this application if you already love it, right? So right. what you don't like, like about it, what do you want to change about it? So that's a very common question in actual uh, highest. Uh, apart from that, uh, if you want to get into a product role in Paytm, if you're a B-School student, that's a simple process. You need to apply for Paytm product role. You need to make sure that your CV is up for it. Uh, you need to have a product CV separately. You need to prepare for a product interview uh, in a different way than normal consulting or a IT role or a marketing interview. So that would be B-School interview. Uh, if you want to apply you are from outside, not a, through a B-School route. Uh, Paytm is actually hiring a lot right now and it would be hiring for the next few months. Uh, and the HRs are actually posting it on different websites, uh, LinkedIn being a medium. So uh, one of my friends actually applied through one of the HR which uh, was posting on internet. So LinkedIn is a very good option, not just the LinkedIn jobs, when you're following different Paytm HRs and they are posting the jobs. And uh, what Paytm is focusing on is tier one and tier two uh, B schools and uh, engineering colleges. So you don't need an MBA to be a, uh, in a product role in Paytm. They are hiring from NITs and NITs for product roles directly. Oh, okay. Skipping the engineering and development part and getting into product role is possible in Paytm if you are an IIT or an IIT graduate. So imjobs.com, something is there, I think. So Paytm is actually posting a lot of jobs there. So yeah, so these uh, job portals are there. Uh, the HR, LinkedIn connection HRs, 
they post a lot of jobs that's i think that's the best part uh, that's the easiest part to get through because the hr itself is posting and you have the limited connections there and our one of the most common in the industry itself is the reference uh, oh. yeah, reference work but uh, yeah it's easier uh, for example i'll give you if you are trying to get into a very big firm mm-hmm. applying through these top portals will get you actually never get a call if you are applied through a web portal or something generally you don't ever get a call because it don't doesn't have time to so most of the is is through reference but uh, for paytm uh, reference to work but these options are also there they do hire from job portals they do hire from linkedin connections and linkedin jobs so that's additional hey that's uh, again uh, brilliant news and uh, this is to all the viewers who are watching this currently if you want to apply to the product role at paytm uh, feel free to uh, reach out to the hrs directly who are posting various jobs in linkedin also for referral feel free to bother or reach out to ayush he would be definitely happy to refer you guys and a uh, most important thing uh, know about their application what do you like about paytm app what do you don't love about like about their paytm app before even applying and preparing for those product role like paytm yeah hey thanks a lot ayush i think it was great knowing uh, talking to you and knowing about the entire paytm process or uh, the especially with the uh, product role and uh before we wrap up ayush do you have any question or a uh, final word of advice anything you want to uh share uh yeah actually so many people are trying to get into product role because it's in the hype don't do that it's not uh, if you're not interested in it you might not like it because it's not just building the product like i said it's you will be talking to a lot of people you might have meetings from at some days you might not even have time to think about the product you might be uh, in you will, might be starting a meeting from 9 and ending on another meeting at night nine night and you'll just be talking to people so if you don't like talking to people but still like building products you might well be there in a development role which is very interesting i still love coding i still love building products from scratch not just developing some features and just pushing it on to your seniors and managers so that they can approve it but yeah so think about it and don't just follow the trend be the trend and whatever you say perfect perfect i think that's a great advice again uh you should do what you love and job won't be feeling yeah. like a job okay yeah thank you so much ayush and we wish you all the best for your upcoming challenges at paytm yeah thanks thanks so much and uh, that's a great initiative and uh, i would love to see these interviews coming through i might be seeing some of these interviews for, for my next uh, role somewhere maybe <laughs> absolutely yes thanks ayush yeah